little as possible. Because if you've done your job properly, uh, everything's going to run according to plan. And fortunately, um, most of the time I was actually able to, probably the first time in my life, actually be able to sit down and watch a game of football. Um, so, you know, uh, the, I don't think that, the, that there were any real major challenges. I mean, I think they were all, yes, there were in the planning process. I mean, just coordinating, you know, what road closures, all that sort of stuff that happens and all that, you know, are the buses going to get here on time? And the actual, almost the logistics of the, of the situation. But we planned it to an inch of its life by the time it actually started. Um, and I think we were, we could probably have gone early uh, because we were, we were in such good shape that we finally got there. As I said, there was a, there was a bit of a trust um, or lack of, not lack of trust, but uh, a concern from Zurich in the fact that, you know, do these colonials really know what they're doing? Um, and, you know, I think we proved to them by the time that they actually hit the ground that, oh, oh yes, you've thought of that. Oh, that's good. Yeah, oh, good. So, yeah, I think we were, I think by the time we were, there were, there were challenges um, along the way, um, but by the time we got to the first whistle, we were in good shape. I, I guess if, if there had been problems, by the time they got out here, a bit late to do anything about it. Yeah, it was a bit. Um, I mean, there's always somebody that wants to reinvent the wheel when they get here, and, and we had that a couple of times. Um, but in most cases, they saw the error in their ways. So, uh, and, and, and we went on with the, with the plan. We couldn't see a good reason to change it. So, and they couldn't give us a good reason to change it, but they wanted to. Now, were you... Uh, responsible also for the video assistant referee? Or no, that's a, a completely separate entity that, um, that FIFA run themselves. Um, it's quite amazing technology. Um, the, the, um, the, the watch that the referees have is connected to that. To, in each match ball, there's a chip. And um, the the referee's watch is actually connected to uh, the actual ball that's in play. And um, one of the guys was showing me when we were up in Brisbane, you literally stand with the ball on the goal line, put it across the line, and it will come up on the watch goal. Um, there are a couple of situations where the referee went to the, the actual VAR um, because they felt, well, maybe it was a glitch in the watch. Um, but by the 99.9% of the thing was that was accurate. Um, it's quite an interesting process to watch them set up um, because they literally, some guy stands there and waters around with a ball in his hand on the pitch to make sure that, we, that they're getting the signal in the right spots. Um, so no, the VAR is, is and, and they have multiple mini cameras set up, so again, technology. Uh, not something I know of enough about. Um, but uh, no, they had uh, multiple camera setups, and uh, it's quite amazing, quite amazing piece of technology. Okay, so you, you mentioned Channel 7 before, mm. and of course, Optus uh, Sport was the, uh, the main rights holder. The main rights holder. 